Well guys, I think it's safe to say that my first Chris Angel video did, uh, alright. And by alright, I mean, well, like, really, really good. For the first time in doing YouTube for 10 years, I can finally do it full time. And I have Chris Angel to thank for that. So, let's all say thank you, Chris Angel, mind freak. But hey, 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 that is not the reason I'm doing another one, okay? I wanna. In all seriousness, whenever I do a video about any person, show, topic, literally anything like that, I get so burnt out after the video making process that I don't want to think about that topic again for like ever. Or three months, in this case. <laughs> I think the timer has reset and I can hear his voice again. I've also found now that they post literally everything onto their YouTube channel, so I don't have to burn episodes off of my roommate's Mind Freak DVD. Thank fuck. So I figured we'd take a look at one of them. I think it's going to be excellent. We're going to have a lot of fun. The episode we're going to be watching is from season two, which means it was right before the last episode. I'm not sure if at this point he was rockstar status or if it wasn't until after this season he became rockstar status. But I'm pretty sure he was still quite famous at this point. He was at season two. Now, in regards to the setting of this episode, I think we can all agree that when we look at Chris Angel, we all have the same idea. This guy needs to be around high schoolers. And wouldn't you know, the showrunners read our minds, and they freak them, and they place Chris Angel right smack dab in his old high school in Long Island. Doing magic, I'm sorry, <laughs> stupid, illusions, and all the other stuff he does. I get really close to the camera and stick his tongue out a lot. But anyways, with all that malarkey out of the way, let's watch. I'm going back to high school to teach students about the mind, body, and spirit and then four of them will be placed in a hypnotic state and will lift the car off the ground. Now, like I said, this was before season three, so he hasn't quite nailed down his 30 year stay at the Luxor Hotel. This is the first time I'm actually gonna be at the principal's office because I was a role model student. It took me a hot second to realize that was Chris Angel's brother and not the high school janitor. I think it took like two watches for me to realize that. <laughs> I was a role model student. I never in my entire 12 years, never got sent down to the principal, never got detention, because I knew that if I had problems in either one of those categories, my father would beat my ass. Because I knew that my father would beat my ass. Not that, uh, not that I'd have a problem with that though. My father would beat my ass. Well, I'm glad you had no problems. <laughs> okay, I am. I am sensing some resentment. I can tell this man's life had to have been rough before Chris Angel made it big. <laughs> Glad you didn't have any problems with it. You know, I, uh, hey, keep the camera on me. You know, for a while it was, uh, it was hard. Hi, pleasure to meet you. Thank you so very much for having me back to my high school. It's, it's been a long time, but yeah. the school is yours for the day. Oh, that's and, very uh, kind. Take a while, I'll give you a tour of the school. You can go any place you want to go. They had to have been using some of that Chris Angel money to buy them a stadium because they just give Chris Angel full reins of the entire high school for the entire show. How are we doing, class? Good, good. I expect to hear very well, Mr. Angel. Very well, Mr. Angel. That's much better. Could have sworn he was going to say Mr. Mind Freak which honestly I think would have been better. <laughs> nice to see you all. Today's lesson is gonna be in precognition, being able to predict the future. Whenever I watch anything from this era, like the mid 2000s, there's always at least one detail that dates it more than anything. And in this episode, it's that all these high schoolers seem to be age eight through 26. You'll notice before we even begin this, I made a prediction in the form of this little model. This will remain in full view at all times. I will not change this, move this, touch this, it will always be in the camera shot and in your full view. And we've not prearranged this in any way, am I correct? Nothing's prearranged, nothing's prearranged, right? No, Mr. Chris Angel, mind freak, and we're not just saying that for the extra credit. What's your name, sir? Derek. Come right over here. Do something with one of my limbs. I wanted the students to put me in any position they chose. Okay, you happy with that? Yeah. Great, why don't you come up? To see if my premonition was correct. Okay, so you really do want me to look like a complete idiot. <laughs> you already did that when you picked out your outfit this morning. Would you do me a favor and just reveal, if you will, little Banny? What kind of pose is he in? <laughs> Originally, you could think that something could be like this, like mechanical or anything, and you could be doing it as the trick's being done. But actually, it's just a wooden object on a pole from our school. We've actually used this for art many times. Yep, there is extra credit involved. <laughs> there's no way there's not. I remember the days that I was in high school dreaming about doing what I'm doing now. 
So it's almost as if I'm going to go back full circle and realize that what I set out to do way back when, I actually accomplished to some degree. My goal too, Chris Angel, is to eventually go back to my old school and show off my sick magic tricks to high schoolers. A ball, a hoop over my shoulder, I'm so confident it'll be one continuous shot, won't even look, watch. Take, baby. I bet the cameraman is just absolutely fuming at like take 27 of this. One take, baby. Yep, take one. Take a look at this. Tight. And I like how much emphasis they're putting on this. Like, there's not five kids in this gymnasium right now that could do this first try. <laughs> Where are the books? Aren't you a little late with some books? I'm just throwing it. <laughs> you, what grade are you in? Ninth. Ninth, and you are? Ninth. Listen, I want to move you up. I think you're doing a fantastic job here. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to bump you right up to 12th grade, provided we could do something and lock on. I would rather you put me through all four years of high school again than be the center of a Chris Angel mind freak experiment. So you're skeptical because you've seen it on TV, right? You don't think I could do that to a fly, do you? <laughs> Turn their mics up. Oh my god, they picked the quietest fucking kids in school. Principal, tell me, is there anyone in this school that you know for sure gets bullied? Because I I kind of want to fuck with them too. Yeah. 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 All right. I like that. I like that. Here, come over here. It's actually so sick that Chris does the same pen trick that I do when I meet new people. Yeah, my name's Chris, not Angel. <laughs> yeah, I, um. Hmm? Oh, the, this? No. Yeah, just something I've. Always been able to do. <laughs> I wanted to verify. I was screwing around with you in the beginning, but we have not prearranged any of this, right? This is completely, you don't even know what I'm going to do, right? I have no idea. Okay. I know they picked these kids because they didn't have to give them extra credit. They would just do it no matter what because they're being told to. <laughs> you're going to do and say everything Chris Angel wants you to do, and you're not going to say anything about it to anyone, okay? All right. Now go ahead and sign this lifetime NDA. This is the 2006 yearbook here, right? And if you look through it, you'll see a lot of pictures, a lot of pictures. We have uh, students, we have teachers. This has to be one of the most boring illusions. Half the illusions in this episode are just lame because he's doing shit in a school. What can you do in a school, you know? So I'll just skip to it. They both tear out the same thing in a yearbook. It's exciting. I was locking up my bike. A friend of mine says, hey, Chris, make my bike disappear. And I just sat there kind of thinking, like, I have no clue how to do that. Now, I have a way to make a bike disappear. Check this out. There he is. Look at that. And finish. Woo. So I'm not going to come right out and point fingers or anything, but out of all of the Chris Angel Mind Freak episodes I've ever seen, never has he once played hip hop. But for some reason, right now, in this specific scene, he's playing hip hop. I'll leave you with that. You can figure it out. Tasteful editing, a and &E. Tasteful editing. Good. Hey. Perfect. Yeah, just let it right on top. Good. There you go. We haven't prearranged anything, right? We just, honestly, we, you've never met me before. No, I you've haven't. never met me before. <laughs> yep, and it was good while it lasted. Now! Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Man, there's gotta be something here. <laughs> what are you looking up oh there for? I see that right now in front of my face. Oh, man. Bike on my bye. He wants his bike. <laughs> The kid is just moving over to the bush that he saw you guys move the bike to before the fake shot. <laughs> the benefit of watching these episodes on YouTube is I get to go down in the comments and see what the general public thinks of these. Let's see what people say. Why is God a secret? All right, that's enough. If you have a dream, I encourage you to really go for it. Stick with it. Don't care what anybody says to you. If people say, oh, you're crazy, you'll never be able to do that or, you know, you're not smart enough, or you're not pretty enough, or you're not this, or you're not that. Or, or, why do you kiss your dad for so long? Or, or why do you kiss him like that? Or, okay, I think you've had enough, you can stop kissing him like that. You don't listen to them. When Christopher finished high school, we want him to go to college. Okay, <laughs> even, even she looks like Chris Angel a little bit too. I, they've got a strong Chris Angel gene in that family. Become a doctor, a dentist, a lawyer, but Christopher, told his mom, dad, give me a year off because I want to try with my magic. And if I don't make it, I promise you I'll go to college later on. 
Chris didn't give up because this is where he loves. Okay, nice. We've got out of the way the part of the episode where they stroke Chris's ego. I guess that's an every episode thing. Okay. But I want you to write it down. I don't want the camera to see it. I don't want anybody to see it. You could let them see it if you'd like, but don't let me see it. Don't let any of my people see it. I, I, as a matter of fact, I'm going to look at the camera so you know there's no way I can see it. Write it down for me right now. Any word. Any word. Do you have it? I get that he didn't want to look at her during this, but he could have looked anywhere else than, I don't know, into our souls. Tootsie roll. Bananas. <laughs> bananas? I got it wrong? You got it right. Oh, what I did was bananas, meaning it was crazy. Let's see, can I see, can I see it? Yeah. That's Actually, I don't even want to open it. Could you open that for me? Tootsie roll. I feel like that's two words. The cameras were over there. His back was completely turned. She was sitting over here, covering him up with her hand and everything. <laughs> All right, let's talk about that shirt. You know what? Actually, let's not talk about the shirt. I just wanted to draw attention to it. Okay, now it's time for the grand illusion of the episode. Basically, the levitating over the Luxor of this episode, which is students lifting up a car. I'm gonna ask you to pick a car, any car you want. <laughs> All right, what car are you thinking about? You see anything? This car right over here? Whose car is this? Is My this brother's you? car. Your brother's car? Okay, cool. This is what we're gonna do here. I want you to really, really focus. It's funny as fuck thinking that this guy picking his older brother's car, but like, his brother is just like hotboxing in the car and just freaking out right now when like 300 people <laughs> approach his car. I want you to really put all of your energy, all of your effort on the count of three. You guys ready? Yeah. One, two, three, now. Oh. All right, all right, don't hurt yourself. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's cool. Give them a nice round of applause. So yeah, he picks some, some tough guys out of the crowd and they can't lift it because it is a car. And then he picks out the weakest little dipshits he can find in the crowd gives them a gives them a pep talk sells their souls i don't know what his whole thing is i want you to listen to my voice when you awake you're going to be able to lift up that car words of affirmation i guess and then wouldn't you know it they lift the car on a count of three one two three go 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 and it's all real and God is a secret. Yeah, I had no clue that that one little kid was gonna pick the car up, you know? I, I couldn't believe it, you know? It's so crazy. I did not think that little kid was gonna be able to pick up that car. I'm pretty sure I stole his iPod and his shoes yesterday, too. <laughs> he's so small. And I know him, he's not really that strong. <laughs> That's really funny, Devin. I know, I'm, I'm so small and weak. <laughs> um, do you think maybe I could get, like, my shoes back at least? I don't even care about the iPod now. I just don't have any shoes. It was cool because I'm always, I'm always really small and I can't do the lifting as much as everyone else. And it was cool to be able to do that. Holy shit! <laughs> you are small. What the fuck? When we see each other, we're we're gonna be like car lifting buddies now. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. We're we're gonna start a group on MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> I love how enthusiastic the guys are about that. Like he's just saying, "This is so exciting. We're we're like a team now. We're like we're like the car lifting team." And she's just like wants nothing to do with it. I want to make this clear, I am never talking to any of you ever again, so don't try, okay? Also, MySpace. Yeah, we're, we're gonna start a group on MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> they did it! We came, we conquered mind, body, spirit. There you go. You put your mind to it, you can do it. Then Chris Angel got the phone number of five high schoolers, called it a day, and happily ever after. That being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did like the video, give it a like rating down below. It lets me know you enjoy the videos and it helps them out a ton. If you have any thoughts, ideas, opinions, or really anything at all, leave them in the comments down below. With that being said, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.